Peace and blessings, love and light, and thanks for tuning in. I'm in my pajamas because I'm getting ready for bed. Yes, it's early, but I have a scheduled bedtime because of the nocturnes. Yes, but anyway, I'm here to talk about pie each for you. Now, I am the mother of four children, two girls, two boys. I had a girl, boy, boy, girl. Now, my boys, I didn't have to go through the process, okay? You know, one at a time, you know, they eat, then they go to the bathroom. I just bought a potty, put the potty out, show them they're going to say pee-pee, doo-doo in this. Because that's what we used to say, doo-doo, before they came out with poop. The word, using the word poop. But I showed them that, and boom, they went. They I don't know, they thought it was a toy, a game, I don't know. But I didn't, by two weeks, they was fully trained. Now, my girls, I had to go through the whole process. And they still had to wear, um, well, my oldest daughter had to wear pampers at nap time and at bedtime. And with a younger daughter, the last child, she was wearing pull-offs because they didn't have pull-offs in 1987. So, but anyway, my children were potty trained completely by the age of two and a half. I was not buying pull-offs or pampers for no children at, at two and a half. Now, I do understand that all children develop and reach milestones at different times. Some are faster than others. And that's no problem. Now, I work in child care, and I've been working in child care, as I said, for 25 plus years. And I came across kids that's three, four, and five that's not potty trained. Now, I understand that they got some form of disability or delayed development, I can understand, but if nothing is wrong with this child, then why these parents are not potty trained? Let me sh let me tell y'all a little story. This happened to me last, it was Friday. This is a three-year-old child that I am working with. He's really stocky. He looks like he could be about 35 to 40 pounds. He's not fat, he's stocky. He's like he could be a football player when he get older. He's big just like his mom. So anyway, he talks, he talks really low, but he doesn't say he gotta go to the bathroom and he's in a pull-up. So he was standing next to him like, what's that smell? <laughs> I'm like, what's that smell? I like, come here. Like, oh my god, he's big. Okay, I can't lift him because I have spinal problems and arthritis in the hips. So the arthritis in the hips is not the problem, but because my vertebrae don't slip, me lifting that boy. <laughs> he might put my ass in the hospital. So I put him up on the changing table. I ain't have to, I wasn't lifting him. He got the steps. So he climbed up to the changing table, right? The other teacher said, when he got on the changing table, you could see the table, the table, the table, the table, the changing table. You could see how heavy it was because it looked like it was going to break. My coworker said, put the, the, um, Step stool under it so it can balance it out. Now, y'all know that shit don't make no sense. He's too heavy and too big to be in a freaking pull-up with poop on his back backside all the way up to the backside. That his shirt had to be changed. He had to climb on that thing himself, turn it over, and we looking like, oh, I hope this thing don't break because that's how heavy he is. That thing is not made for a three-year-old that weighs 30 plus pounds. My co-worker and I literally was gagging. I thought I was going to throw up. My co-worker had to walk away. And every time she would say something, she would go. <laughs> and I started laughing. And got, I started gagging myself. Because not only was it disgusting because he's too big to be, you know, in a pull-up and on a changing table. And the poop is not... Salad, so I don't know what kind of foods he's eating because it's not it's not a sinker or a floater. It's tasty. Just smeared all against his behind and up his backside. And every time he pooped, that's what happened. But it was so funny because I literally had to lean over into the trash and I had the, the mask on, but I didn't have the N95 when I had the black one. And you could still smell the odor. Like, it was so disgusting. And it's sad to 
work in this field and these parents think it's okay to send their child to school in a pull-up at three plus years old and nothing wrong with the child. Even if the child doesn't know how to say poop or you could teach the child, why would you want to be putting pampers and pull-ups on your child at that age and they big as fuck? He's big as fuck. Like, he, this child is really big. He's... His butt is bigger than mine. I didn't even want to touch him. I use so many ways. I probably used the half pack of a Dale White just to get that scrap off his behind. He's just too big. He is too big. He's gonna be a he's gonna built like a football player. And he's three, he just made three. You would have thought he was four or five. Because he's tall as well. But yeah, parents, please. I understand. It could be frustrating. But teaching your child to go to the bathroom at least by two and a half should be a goal. Because first of all, you don't want other people touching your children. When they have to go to the bathroom, they'll wait for you. You know what I'm saying? You just got to be careful. So, it's important to potty train your child. At least by two and a half. Teach them the words of poo-poo and pee-pee. Teach them to let you know. You got to teach it to them. It's... Don't look good. And it's disgusting and frustrating to be trying to change a child that way more than me. <laughs> I am 5'4", 120 pounds. The most I ever weighed in my life was 128. Well, a little bit past 130 when I was pregnant. Not much, because I didn't gain much when I was fucking pregnant. And once I had my baby, that's done the world. Right back to its original size, because it, <laughs> it never got that big. <laughs> if somebody three-year-old, I can hurt myself trying to lift them. Then what other way I... And I wonder what he eat because he don't be eating the food in school. I wonder what this child eats at home because he literally does not. He'll eat the pizza that we have. He, I see him eat pizza. He may eat some of the fruits. But he don't be eating the food. The wife will be a big. But his mom is big. I don't know what his father looks like. His, his mother is like six something. She's, she's really tall and she's big as well. Her legs are really big and her, he's built just like his mom. But the fact that <laughs> that was just a horrible situation to deal with. And he's in my room right now. <laughs> Whew, I thought I was going to vomit. But I got to go, y'all. Thanks for tuning in.